Breaking news coming in, Ratan Tata has passed away. The announcement from Tata Group says it is with a profound sense of loss that we bid farewell to Mr. Ratan Naval Tata, a truly uncommon leader whose immeasurable contributions have shaped not only the Tata Group, but also the very fabric of our nation. For the Tata Group, Mr. Tata was more than a chairperson. To me, he was a mentor, guide and friend. He inspired by example. With an unwavering commitment to excellence, integrity and innovation, the Tata Group under his stewardship expanded its global footprint while always remaining true to its moral compass. Mr. Tata's dedication to philanthropy and the development of society has touched the lives of millions. From education to healthcare, his initiatives have left a deep-rooted mark that will benefit generations to come, reinforcing all. Devesh Singh is joining us on the phone line for more on this. Uh, Devesh. Big breaking news, Ratan Tata has passed away at the age of 86. Uh, well, uh, Padma Bhimbushan, Mr. Ratan Tata, he was hospitalized on Monday and since then his health condition deteriorated. He was undergoing treatment at the Breach Candy Hospital in Mumbai uh, where a team of doctors was uh, sending to him uh, but his condition deteriorated and uh, this evening he passed away. Uh, just a while. Or the Tata Group relevant taking the brand higher and above all the big heart attitude which ensured that whatever Tatas were earning that was distributed back in form of charity. Baba Kalyani now joins us, Chairman and Managing Director of Bharat Forge. Mr. Kalyani, good morning. Thank you for joining us. It's a sad day, sir. And uh, we are remembering Ratan Tata's legacy. How would you like to remember Mr. Tata's legacy? You know, I think Ratan Tata's legacy will be remembered by all Indians because a couple of things that he did which took the Indian business in a different direction. First of all, he was a he was a industrialist, businessman, philanthropist, and the head of the Tata Group, one of the biggest conglomerates in India. But he was also a people's man when it came to business. Always ready to give advice, always ready to talk to people. And the way he created the brand India globally and encouraged people like us, smaller businesses, also to go, go, go global was something quite amazing. His, his biggest call during the 2611 crisis in the Taj how he handled the crisis as the head of the group and how he put people first and the families first. I think it is just enormous. I've rarely seen such an uh, example of what he was able to do or show in the, in the entire world. So we respect him for that. Personally, I've known him for many, many years. I used to, I've been going to the Bombay house for more than 50 years now. Of course, Mr. Tata wasn't in Bombay House for 50 years. He was there from 1990 onwards. But I've, I've known him personally. He was always ready to meet me privately, give for advice. Whenever I had a problem, I used to go to him to take advice. And 
he was quite willing to spend time. I'm a busy man like that. Uh, was ready to spend time with somebody like me and uh, give advice in terms of what questions I asked. Many times he disagreed with what I was trying to do. But uh, that's how life was and that is how Ratan was. I personally will definitely miss him. But I know the nation will miss him a lot more. He's also a great philanthropist. He's done so many things for, for, for the people of India. Hospitals, charities, all kinds of things. And he has done it all quietly without talking about it. Which is one of his greatest qualities. And Mr. Kalani would love to know, you know, any anecdote that you could share with him when you last met him. Well, there are many anecdotes, not when I last met him, but I'll tell you one simple anecdote. When we went uh, in 2006 to Washington, I was with him on the flight from London to Washington. And we were sitting together and we landed in Washington and you have to go through the normal uh, immigration and custom check. So at immigration, uh, he, he pushed me ahead and uh, he, he said, you go first. And then he came and he was held back at immigration and they took him to another room for one hour. And I was trying to tell the immigration officer who Mr. Ratan Tata is, how, you know, uh, what is his business stature, etc. But you know how the uh, immigration guys in the U.S. are. But that did not rattle him at all. He took it as uh, he took it as a something that happens in normal course of doing things. That was his greatness. Anybody else would have got upset, annoyed, you know, shouted. But that was nothing, nothing out of it. That was 2006. Intriguing story. Uh, so, uh, what were his reactions? Uh, why is it that he was held back for an hour for interrogation? I mean, you know, there must be something on his passport, something on his... Uh, or maybe just uh, uh, random, uh, you know, they, in those days they did a lot of random checks, so could be anything. Mr. Kalani, which is yeah. one Tata group philosophy which the Bharat Forge group, in a sense, has imbibed, replicated or has simply adopted? To be global was one of the things. Of course, uh, uh, I want to say that uh, <clears throat> we started the journey almost at the same time. But, uh, you know, that was Ratan Tata's advice to most business people. He believed that uh, Indian industry can go global, Indian industry can aim big, uh, Indian industry can produce good products. He believed in it. And he really encouraged people. I mean, when we started our business, our biggest customer was uh, Tata Motors, then known as Telco. They were about 40% of our sales. And that's how I, I was in Bombay House for 50 years. Every year meeting, you know, either Mr. Suman Mulgaukar, Mr. Talawlikar, uh, once in a while, Mr. J.R.D. Tata. But... You know, the Tata House always encouraged people, encouraged business and uh, gave good advice. Mr. Mr. Kalani, appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us. It's unparalleled for me or for anybody else to describe the enormous legacy that Mr. Tata leaves behind. जो उन्होंने किया है इंडिया के लिए कम्युनिटी के लिए टाटा ग्रुप के लिए विच इज इट कंप्लीटली अनपैरल वो ही वाज अ लेजेंड लाइक नोबडी एल्स ही हैड सो मच विजन इनक्रेडिबल विजन एंड ही वाज ट्रूली एन आउटस्टैंडिंग एन एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी ह्यूमन बीइंग हु लिव्ड अ वेरी सिंपल लाइफ इतना उन्होंने अचीव किया था इतना सारा अचीव किया सबके लिए अचीव किया सबके लिए यू नो ही मेड मनी फॉर अ शेयर होल्डर बट खुद अपने लिए फॉर हिज ओन हिज ओन पर्सनल लाइफ ही रिमेन अ वेरी सिंपल पर्सन उनका कन्विक्शन ट्रिमेंडस था जो भी उन्होंने किया वो पूरा कन्विक्शन के साथ पूरा फुल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ही बन रहा है अंडर हिज लीडरशिप द टाटा ग्रुप रियली स्ट्रेंथ टू फ्रॉम स्ट्रेंथ टू स्ट्रेंथ ये करेज टू मेक सम एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरीली सक्सेसफुल 
acquisitions for the Tata Group for Ustjamani in the in the 2000 early 2000s to, to before the global financial crisis. Tata consumers ke liye there was of course the three which we acquired. We took India on the global stage. Ne un zaman Ustjamani me 15 saal 17 saal pehle. Indian company jaake global to go and acquire a global company was almost unheard of. But the Tata Group did it under his uh, under his leadership. So the amount of conviction shown me Hogi to to make those to make those kind of acquisitions was truly remarkable. Under his leadership, Tata uh, Tata brand became a global giant. मुझे याद है ने कि मैं एक बार बुधापेस से प्राग जा रहा था बुधापेस हंगरी में प्राग चेक में तो चार घंटे का शायद ड्राइव होगा चार साढ़े चार घंटे का और उस चार साढ़े चार घंटे के ड्राइव के अंदर एक टू डिफरेंट प्लेसेस आई सॉ दी टाटा फैसिलिटी समवेयर अलोंग द वे तो जो उन्होंने जो टाटा का जो ब्रांड जो क्रिएट किया था नॉट नॉट इन इंडिया बट ऑन द ग्लोबल स्टेज दैट वॉज कम्प्लीटली अनफेल ने लास्टली आई वुड से जो वॉट सेपरेटेड है from any other nation was his simplicity his humility despite